and we are back. <clears throat> and last time we started a cutscene that I did not mean to start. Because usually when there's a cutscene with a guy talking, there's, you know, a little option that says, show me, blah, blah, blah. But the great thing is I can kind of replay the cutscene by just asking him, how did you end up like this again? So now the cutscene that we kind of didn't have time for. This is actually kind of messed up and dark when you think about what's really going on here. Though I'm sure a lot of people would love to do this to uh, Ewoks. <clears throat> Biggie Bugs! the sound effects so low. Well, that sound effect wasn't low. <clears throat> Is this thing picking me up at all? I feel like... What do you I'm, think? <laughs> well, yeah, but I feel like there's times where I'm talking and, like, it's not picking up what I'm saying. Ugh, you're gonna have to edit that out. Yeah. Or just turn the sound down. I, I tilted the microphone towards me, hoping it would help. I did not mean to spike the sound like that. Mm, sorry. <clears throat> that probably also sounded loud to a lot of people, but it did not spike the sound. Oh boy, a treasure box! Everyone knows a treasure box gives us a new weapon, right? Oh boy, I can't wait to see what it is. It's, it's, it's... Flares. No, not the 70s fashion accessory. Oh, only rare. Yes, we can use this to see in dark places. And this is pretty much the only area where they're actually all that useful. Because it kind of does, you know, the whole one... Yeah. Why can't I? Oh, right. That that's uh, an ammo crate for something we don't have. It actually, there is one useful thing about flares. You can toss them and they'll stick to a wall. So uh, yeah, you know. It, it, okay, that went away awfully quick. So you know, you can stick them to a wall and then you can switch weapons. So it, it, it's it's better than Doom Three. <laughs> You know, I mean, I I don't understand why game companies have to come up with these stupid artificial limits to characters. Like, you know, in, in some games where it's like you can't jump and you got this really, really low-hanging barrier that you have to find your way around or something. It's like, but wait, couldn't I just jump over? I mean, it's, it's not even all that high. It comes up to my knees. Heck, I could climb over the thing in real life. But nope, you got to find your way around. Right. Oh, and don't even get me started on games that have Mega Man Syndrome on the NES. Your arm is stuck in one position and you can't shoot up. And here we have a brand new weapon, the Sniper Rifle. It's snipey goodnesses can be shared by my partner when he actually joins the game. I think your mother's... So, it's not gonna pick anyone else except us. Yeah, but I thought she was talking to us. Sorry. <clears throat> Anyways, we gotta get on the top of a... Gimlet's house here to find one of the parts. Going down this chimney will not make me end up in the fireplace we saw, but instead I somehow go into the sewers. I I don't even know how that works. Uh, seriously, like how how does that work? I, I jump in a fireplace on a roof and I end up in the sewers. Can, can you explain that one to me? Yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> One 
what is with games where you save people and they teleport out? And I know this is a futuristic game, and, and they also do that, you know, Burning Rangers, you know, where you touch, you get the survivors and you beam them out, and they actually explain that. It's, it's the crystals that generate energy and, and stuff, and there's even a part in the game where one of the characters is like, I'm running out of crystals! Not enough crystals to save everybody! <laughs> yeah. In, uh, in Samurai Legend Musashi, when you have to save one, you start using them as a weapon. A very powerful weapon, I must add. Oh, yeah. I don't really remember that. <laughs> oh, you, you guys didn't... Because you can't see what he just did, but... Yeah. Oh, now I rem Yeah, you, you shove the person into them and uh this glowing sparkling doohickey is a fully part uh hold on a second ah snacks snacky snackies snacky attackies really many enemies down here. Oh, let's see. Which way is the way out? How yeah, fitting you're in the sewers, considering I've had Brennell Floss's sewer surfing song stuck in my head for days now. <laughs> ah, Brennell Floss. You are like the golden tusk of video games if he cursed and didn't put music to every or lyrics, I mean, to every single piece of mu every single like sound that the music makes there's a Floyd part up there but that'll probably be actually you know what we'll skip that now because there's another one in the place right under where he is found a robot component All these gems were supposed to be... No, wait. They are supposed to be purple. Never mind. The red ones give you full health. <coughs> I thought there was a color problem with your TV there for a second. Ah, uh, but I was remembering your old, old, old TV. Mm. I owned a TV made out of wood. <laughs> yeah, it was apparently made during the wood age. <laughs> wood age. Mm. Wood age. <laughs> That sounds like an innuendo. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. Found a robot component. Nice music. And I rescued last tribal. Yay. That means when we come back through here, I can just ignore all this and just run straight to the exit. Except I'll still have to kill some of the enemies, but uh, we won't really be recording the rerun through here. Except for the very beginning when I grab an ammo extension crate that I missed. Oh, speaking of an ammo extension crate, you know what? I'm willing to bet the one that was up here was for the sniper rifle, which I didn't have when I read this. <laughs> Redness in my eyes. Red eyes. Yep, sniper rifle. Definitely want to increase your weapon's ammo capacity every chance you get. Anyways, now that we got all the Floyd parts, Mark, get your controller ready. All right. Because... It is now time. Well, a Twizzler. Give me a Twizzler. Mm, nom, 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 nom. As we wait for him to unwrap the controller. Oh. Come on, Mark. People are waiting. I mean, not 
in real time, but, you know. I'm looking down at my controller expecting it to be lighting up or something. <laughs> I want... Okay. Hello again. I, do, I, I don't suppose you stumbled across any of my missing components during your travels. I think I found them all. I'm going to sparkle like a twilight vampire. Our powers combined. I am Captain Floyd. Now, you can drop in and out at any time just by pressing start. You're not at... Ah, now, aim the control stick all around. Test out your firing capabilities. Press the Z button. I mean, it is a rareware game on the N64. Press the Z button as fast as you can. Oh, I, I almost forgot something when I got the uh, sniper rifle. And, uh, save game, yes. Mr. Bones, doop, 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 doop. Snipey rifle. I'll shut that up. Okay, now, now, I want to show you something. Awesome. Okay. You see, you see your, your, your aimer, the, the big one there? Uh-huh. Try hitting something all the way in the distance there. Yes, you, you snap. You snap like I do when I use the sniper rifle. In fact, when I'm doing like extreme long range sniping, I might not even use this thing. I'll just have you shoot everything. Or I, I might join so, in. So, does Floyd appear with whatever character you're using? or just Yes, whatever character. Cool. Somehow he magically teleports to each and every character. And now, we're traveling backwards. Traveling backwards. You know what? Why don't you, um... Can you kill the recording and then bring it... And then record again? Or will that just stop this whole episode? Um... It's, uh... We've got, like, three minutes left. Well, I'm not sure if I want the folks to sit through me, you know, going back. Oh, wait! There's a guy still alive. Kill him! Yes, I'm I'm shooting at him, yay! I... Use this use this backtracking time as a you know means to practice your abilities. Alright, there's really like nothing alive, just get used to the way the targeting works, you know. Get comfortable with it. This is the one time you'll find an invincibility without enemies because I killed everything and it stays dead. But when we come back through here again, you know, everything will be alive again, but I'll have I'll Floyd to help me. I finally get to play and there's nothing to kill yet. <laughs> try targeting pra try target practicing when there's gems over there. You gotta hit the gem like square in the center to push it. You know, I, I just want you to get used to the feeling of of being Floyd while I'm moving around. Because I'm not sure if you can push those gems. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> well, I mean, how was I supposed to know? <coughs> Apparently you've never tried just shooting gems. Why don't you try shooting them? Oh, oh hit them at the base. There we go. like the sh rupee shooting gallery in uh, Zelda. Yes. And we will end this episode as soon as I go through the doors that lead backwards. We've got like 30 seconds left. Shotgun capacity increased. Go! Okay, that's the end of this episode. We'll see you next time. And I can play.